hello my loves and welcome back to another video so in today's video i am going to be showing you the set i created on my beautiful client maya um we did a bright twist on some milk bath nails and i am absolutely obsessed with how they turned out this is the previous set i did on maya um four and a half weeks ago and this is that same set four and a half weeks later um she did have one casualty but that's okay we fixed her up um but yes i wanted to show you guys where we came from and then where we are going with her new set she absolutely loved them she didn't think she was gonna love them as much as she did but she absolutely loved them um as always i'm using cjp acrylics um and glitter from the glitter fairy of course what is a set without glitter from the glitter fairy right um, I'm actually using, I'm trying out my number 12 nail mate brush. Um, I normally use the number 10. For some reason, I cannot get used to this damn brush. I don't know why. It drives me mad. But I tried it. I hated it. Again, I'm sticking to my number 10. <laughs> that is my sweet spot. Um, so I'm coming in on the pinky and the middle finger with the coconut milk. Um and because the coconut milk is such a soft white and it just you can water it down with some clear acrylic and make give it that really milky effect so i really really love this and i cannot highly i, I highly recommend it. i can't recommend it enough if you're going to do some milk bath nails and you have cjp definitely yeah, use the coconut milk it's amazing um so I'm going to make sure that the cuticle area is nice and opaque so that way we have, it's there's no patchiness or nothing like that. We have a nice border around the cuticle area and then the rest of the nail, it could be patchy, whatever, because we're going to be coming back in after we place the flowers on there. We're going to be coming back in with more coconut milk. Um, and then on the other nails, the rest of the nails, we're going to be using magenta apple shine banana and ultraviolet um we're i originally started to put down all the colors and i was just using it pretty much for the background to my glitter because i was going to do a full glitter nail but my client and i loved it so much that we decided to do it on all three of the nails um instead of just that one so I was going for almost like a tie-dye effect because um, it's not really ombres it's not really marble it's just like that where they merge together beautifully so I worked very very thinly so that way I could build it up as much as I wanted without bulking out the nail and once I got it to my desired look I put some glitter over it just to enhance it um, so yes i definitely loved how the set turned out i did do a set about uh, i cannot talk <laughs> i did do a set of milk bath nails before but i wasn't able to record it so i'm really really excited that i got to and i almost didn't record this one because i started and i got through half of the first hand I was like oh my god I didn't push record by a and she's like it's okay because we got one more hand <laughs> so I'm glad um that I got it on camera and I'm glad that I did it so I'm very very excited to be sharing this with you and it's kind of cool you know the milk bath nails are really really trending right now and I didn't think that I was going to like it so much to where I wanted to keep doing it because I don't like to do the same things over and over again um i am you know i i'm okay with doing certain designs but recreating it and turning it into a new set so what i've decided with all the clients that wants the milk bath nails because i'm going to be doing another set tonight or this morning um so we're going to go in a different op uh, um a different direction so this set was very bright um, it had all the bright colors and stuff and then the set I'm going to be doing this morning um, For my other client. We are going to be doing those deep rich colors 
so I'm excited to see how that turns out. I will be recording it for you guys, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, and then I do have another video coming for you guys of the client that I did after this. So I will be voicing over that today and hopefully get it up for you guys tomorrow or the next day. Um, but yes, I'm going to let you guys watch this and then I will be back. Also, it did leave me struggling with the flowers in. Um, I was going to take a lot of that footage out just because I didn't want to bore you guys. But I started, I started thinking to myself, how many times have I watched a video and somebody made something look so easy you know, but then when I went to go do it, I struggled so much. So I left it in specifically for that reason. So that way you can see how I struggled and, and all that good stuff. But I'll talk to you guys about that further down the video. So I'm going to let you guys watch this and I will be back in a minute.
All right, my loves. So grab your coffee or tea or whatever the hell you're drinking this morning. Um, and get comfy because it's going to be a second. <laughs> it's going to be a second. I wanted to leave in as much as possible without really dragging on this video. Um, but I just wanted to see, or I just wanted you to see what I kind of struggled with. And it's not like it was hard. It was just, you know, it was tedious. You know, they're t we're working with really, really tiny flowers. So uh, these are the ones that I got off of Amazon. Um, the next set that I'm going to be doing that I was telling you about earlier, um, they're flowers that I picked myself. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to do that set. But this set, I did use the ones that I got from Amazon. They don't bleed or anything. So definitely go get some, some of these flowers. They're real, real cute, um, off of Amazon. Really any, all the flowers that they have on Amazon are really, really cute. Actually, I didn't find any that I didn't like. Um, but these are the ones I chose. So anyways, just play with it. Be creative. There's no, there's no wrong way to do a milk bath nail. So whatever you envision, it's right. You know, there's just no wrong way to do it. Um, after I place my flowers down, um, and I move them around the way that I want them and I get it to where I like the way that it looks, um, I'm going to come in with my coconut milk and I'm going to go around the flowers, over the flowers. Um, I want some to look like they're sticking up out of the milk bath. Um, I want some to look like they're almost completely submerged. Um, I want some that you can still see the flower, but it's real milky over it. Um, again, it's to your preference. That's what I love about doing these milk bath nails. If you have not done a set of milk bath nails, try it. I highly recommend it. Um, I didn't think that I was going to like them that much, but I really do. I enjoy creating these milk bath uh, style nails, and I really, really love them. I hope that it, more clients of mine want them, because normally I don't like to do the same design over and over again. I like to continuously challenge myself and do something different, um, but I really, really like doing these, so if you haven't done them yet... I, I highly recommend trying it and if you have what did you do I would love to see the sets that you created drop it down below in the comment section tag me on Instagram I would love to see um, the milk bath nails that you've done and if you do try to recreate this please 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 tag me in it I would love to see it um, but I'm going to finish these up and then I'm going to cap off camera um, I'm going to file and then I will meet you back to top coat.
right, my love. So this is the set complete. This is the end of the video. Um, I hope that you guys love this set as much as me and my beautiful client Maya does. Um, if you have not tried the Milk Bath Nails yet, I would highly recommend you trying it. It's absolutely fun to do. Um, they're absolutely gorgeous. Also, if you have done a set, I would love it if you sent me some pictures or clips or whatever of your work. I would love to see it. Um, if you do send me some pictures, um, I would love to share them in my next video. Uh, if it's okay with you, obviously. But yes, I absolutely love how these turned out. Um, I hope that I see some of your guys' work. If you do recreate this, please tag me in it or send me a picture. Um, Thank you guys so so much for subscribing to my channel i it means the world to me um give me a thumbs up if you love this video and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel i would love it if you did hit that notification bell so that way you are always notified every time i post a video um, and if there's anything i can ever do for you guys please leave it down in the comment section i absolutely love interacting with you guys and um yeah I hope that all of you guys have a beautiful Wednesday. I hope that your day is just full of laughter and love. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, beauties.